Let's claw our way into the next unboxing. Let's go. So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host as always, Jeffman 316, and we've got a special little unboxing for you today. I spoiled a little bit of it in the intro, but I just couldn't wait to show you some of the items that I got. I got a special box from David Sterling. Yeah, the man himself. He runs Sterling Entertainment, and they produce some great indie horror films. You've seen them on my channel before. We unboxed Camp Blood. Most recently, we unboxed Meat Hook Massacre. That was a great set. Check that out on the channel. But uh, today we got some uh, special one because it's a couple of movies and instead of a box, it comes with some like replicas of things from the movie. And so you saw the first one there that's got claw painted on it and that's representative of a weapon from the movie. And so I'll show you the movies before we get into the other special item. So you get two movies uh, in this package deal and I got it early and I think... Uh, they were a limited number. I'll show you the number on mine. So like I said, it's a limited number. And look, there's mine. It says, I guess that's number three. But you can still order these sets from makeflix.com at the time I'm recording this video. So I'll put some links below and you can head over there. But the first film is obviously going to be called Claw. Dun, dun, dun. It says three friends from New York City embark on a weekend excursion to Swamp Hollow in upstate New York to visit the sites of notorious serial killers. Urban legend or not, things start to get spooky and people start disappearing. Will they be able to survive the long weekend in de the dead of winter in the middle of nowhere with the evil spirits watching over the evil doers? So here's the back cover. So like I said, this is produced by David Serlin himself. I think this was made back in 2017. It's got copyright 2018. And then the, the uh, second chapter is called Claw 2 Blood Legacy. And I like this cover. It's, he always puts some sexy women. Let me double check, make sure there's no nudity on there. Can't show that on YouTube. Jack is trying to write his next novel. James, his agent, is not happy with the pace down in his NYC loft. So he sends Jack to the country to get more words on the page. But the isolation in the rural town of Swamp Hollow brings to the surface a horrific town history. The nightmares, strange creatures, blood, and apparitions are really getting to Jack. Is he going crazy or is the town that effed up? I won't read you the rest, but this looks like it's made uh, copyright 2022. And so um, it says extra director commentary slideshow making of movie and trailers. So yeah, there's the front and back. I'll go ahead and open these up. And they do come with a little um, piece of the artwork that basically matches the front. And so there's your um, Claws Bloodline disc. Now, a lot of people in the last unboxing wanted to know these are manufactured on demand. I've had extremely good luck with all the ones. They seem to be really good scratch resistant. So um, they're really good, nice, high quality manufactured on demand discs. But a lot of people are doing that, even the larger companies. So I'll show you the inside of this one, and this one was obviously made before. So it's got an advertisement in there of uh, things from Sterling Entertainment. This is the Camp Blood and Axe Grinder and things. Look at all that. Look at all that great entertainment. The bloody welder's mask. It's got the bloody handprint on it. It got claw there. And what else do we get? We get an autograph of David Sterling himself. Look at that. So this is an awesome kind of welder's replica it's really hard plastic you can wear it obviously as i did look it's got an adjustable headband in there adjustable tight on the sides so you can get it and you can uh, open and close it like over your head now i will say this is basically solid black um you, you're not going to be able to wear this around and like and uh scare your friends you, you won't be able to see through there it's pretty much solid black but it's a replica and it's mainly for display purposes of what i would say so i will tell you that there's multiple versions of this um if you go i'll put up the different um 
cards on the screen. The first one is the one that I purchased, and there's a special version of it that's got a skull mask, and it's got a different print on the side, and that's pretty cool, and I know if one of my uh, internet friends out there got it, and he said it was pretty amazing. So um, David Sterling, even though it's low-budget entertainment, he makes high-quality uh, Blu-rays and merchandise to go along with it. So we're always going to support him on the channel, and I know he supports us as well because he did an interview, so I'm going to link to that down below as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing and hopefully you'll support me and David Sterling and you can buy all kinds of boxes from him. We got Things, we got Axe Grinder, we got Skullface Astronaut, we got Meat Hook Massacre. We got all kinds of stuff from Sterling Entertainment and we're a supporter of his so hopefully you will be too. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and this unboxing and until next time boys and girls, this is JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. I guess that's my cue to leave. <laughs>